blue sea. It's raining today. This is a bit of sky, but no rain. The rain is going to be knocking the gutters. I want to talk to you today about weather. Okay? See like this. Honestly, this is the weather it has to be sunny because remember what I said in the last video. They're the they're one of the most they, they, they're the wizard that needs the most heat and the most light. So she definitely likes Definitely like sunny days. Kiki down the When the warmth and, and the coldness hits each other, it creates the form of breeze or wind. And that's how the clouds move. The wind moves the clouds. Okay. Now, what is rain? Why does it exist in this world? Well, and clouds here today, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't even be alive if we didn't have rain. So, because there is a lot of that is because rain grows trees, and trees provide us oxygen. Grass and other plants, weeds, yes, they do that too. But not as much as trees. Okay. Now, how do the clouds form right? There are these crystals, they're basically just crystals dropping from the sky, but melted. So, they would just basically melt once they, once they, they got into the atmosphere of the world. Because clouds are high up. And strong clouds are... Storm clouds are kind of like, kind of the color. Here, I'll, I'll show you what a storm cloud looks like. It's gonna be thunderstorm soon. So that's what it's, that's what the thunderstorm clouds look like. So. Okay. Now, since you've listened to that rain right there, that is the droplets. And there are things called thunder, lightning, light rain, hard rain, and hail. Now, hail and thunder and lightning are the worst because that could create a tornado. Not to scare you or anything, but that's only in parts of the world, like parts that are super flat. Now, if you live in a really hilly area, 
you only have a 5% chance of getting a tornado with hail and thunder and lightning. Now, hail only comes with thunder and lightning. Now, in flat areas, there's a lot of hail once it rains. Lots of parts of cities, tornadoes and all that, but we here live in a little town called the Grange. It's very hilly here, so we only have a 10% chance because we're not in the one in Georgia. We're in, we're in the KY equal Kentucky. So, but only Kentucky, far parts of the world in Kentucky, only have really bad tornadoes. Now, tornadoes aren't that bad unless you live in Tornado Alley, Obama, or anything like that. They, they're the ones who only get bad. Now, we tend here to get twisters because of the lakes we have here. We only get twisters. No bad tornadoes or anything. Just a bit of twisters. So, back on to health. The whole thing for them is that there are these little crystals in the clouds. Now, clouds are basically just made of crystals, the cold air. Okay? It's basically like snow, but harder. Like, not like hard snow, like hard falling snow. Just crystal snow. Like that. But in a ring. So then, once the clouds form together and there's enough heat, they will melt and then fall out of the clouds. And if you want to know how lightning and thunder forms, I want to show you how lightning forms. So, once the clouds hit each other, it will make static. So you know how like when you slide on the slide and everything, your clothes are rubbing against something. And that shocks you, right? You know that feeling when it shocks you? That's static. Now, that's what happens in the clouds up there. And it makes some form electric since the clouds are wet too. And then, I know you're running, well, why, what, where's the thunder? Well, the thunder comes after the light. It echoes through the clouds. That's how lightning and thunder forms. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.